Alzheimer's and dementia training for caregivers. Communication. Trying to communicate with a person who has Alzheimer's or dementia, or any disease, can be a challenge. Both understanding and being understood may be difficult. Choose simple words and short sentences and use a gentle, calm tone of voice. Avoid talking to the person with Alzheimer's or dementia like a baby or talking about the person as if he or she weren't there. Don't wait for the person to ask. Watch for signs that the person may have to go to the bathroom, such as restlessness or pulling at clothes. Respond quickly. Be understanding when accidents occur. Stay calm and reassure the person if he or she is upset. Try to keep track of when accidents happen to help plan ways to avoid them. To help prevent nighttime accidents, limit certain types of fluids, such as those with caffeine in the evening. If you are going to be out with a person, plan ahead. Know where restrooms are located, and have the person wear simple, easy to remove clothing. Take an extra set of clothing along in case of an accident. Watch for signs of agitation or frustration with an activity. Gently help or distract the person to something else. Incorporate activities the person seems to enjoy into your daily routine and try to do them at a similar time each day. Try to include the person with Alzheimer's or dementia in the entire activity process. For instance, at mealtimes, encourage the person to help prepare the food, set the table, pull out the chairs, or put away the dishes. This can help maintain functional skills, enhance feelings of personal control, and make good use of time. Be calm and quiet. Avoid using a loud tone of voice or talking to the person as if he or she were a child. Respect the person's personal space and don't get too close. Try to establish eye contact and call the person by name to get his or her attention. Remind the person who you are, if he or she doesn't seem to recognize you. If the person is confused, don't argue. Respond to the feelings you hear being communicated, and distract the person to a different topic if necessary. If the person doesn't recognize you, is unkind or responds angrily, remember not to take it personally. He or she is reacting out of confusion. Minimizing distractions. Minimize distractions and noise, such as the television or radio, to help the person focus on what you are saying. Call the person by name, making sure you have his or her attention before speaking. Allow enough time for a response. Be careful not to interrupt. If the person with Alzheimer's or dementia is struggling to find a word or communicate a thought, gently try to provide the word he or she is looking for. Try to frame questions and instructions in a positive way. Activities Finding activities that the person with Alzheimer's or dementia can do and is interested in can be a challenge. Building on current skills generally works better than trying to teach something new. Don't expect too much. Simple activities often are best, especially when they use current abilities. Help the person get started on an activity. Break the activity down into small steps and praise the person for each step he or she completes.